can't stand children crying. Get out of here. You're rude, sir. When a child cries, someone should console them. Satan, take me now. You won't leave until I ask you what happened, will you? I ran away from home because I haven't seen my granddad in six months. Ah, well. I didn't even get to meet mine. He's been dead for 600 years. My granddad is sick. There's a little man in his head that steals his words. Oh, that's a shame. You can't live without words. They told me my granddad's here, but I can't find him. I entered the first nursing home I found. I guess it never occurred to me that there could be more than one. Nor that my grandfather was in the most expensive one in London. A lady at the door told me to wait here. We'll wait. And let's hope we don't have to wait too long. Sir? My name is Victoria Baxter, but my friends call me Vic. I haven't had a name for a long time. Or friends, for that matter. But you can call me Hines. I don't have a lot of friends either. There's my nanny, Dorothy, Catherine, the cook, and Ronald, the gardener's son. There's something I don't understand. If your granddad died that long ago, you must be really, really old. I mean, my nan was 87, and everyone said she died of old age. Oh, and who says I haven't died? I... I don't think I understand. Listen here, little girl. If I tell you the truth, will you do me a favor? Of course, Mr. Hines. I was your grandmother's age the first time I died. But years before, I had taken a very special potion. They told me it gave you the power to come back to life at the same exact age as when you died for the first time. But what if that wasn't true? The only way to find out was to kill myself, but I couldn't do that. And didn't you have any friends who could help you? I had two good friends, Ursus and Falcon. They were like my children. Ursus died in a fire. As for Vulcan, uh, I lost his track. I spent decades searching for him because only he could confirm if the powers of the potion were real. You could have looked up that potion in an encyclopedia. Oh. <laughs> uh, there weren't any encyclopedias back then. Although, there was a book that mentioned the potion, but I never found it again. Doctors know about these things. Did you ever ask them? I couldn't ask anyone. I'd done uh, uh, bad things. I was a fugitive. I searched for decades in vain until I died of old age, as old as I am now. Every few weeks I die and I come back to life. And I can't walk. I can't even wipe my own shit. You're not allowed to say shit. They just opened up my throat so I could talk. I haven't been able to say a single word for 60 years. I'll say shit all I want. And you should do the same. Sh shit. See, it's easy. Shit. Nice. Don't let anyone ever take away your right to say what you want. Words should never be hidden. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I like you, Vic, but I think you should calm down. You know a lot about death. Will my granddad live? I don't know, Vic. I do know that if he dies, he won't come back like me. But if I could change places with him, I'd do so gladly. You're a good man, Mr. Hines. Now it's my turn. You owe me a favor. Yes. Whatever you want. Could you place your hand on mine? What's going to happen to you? No one should die alone. Stay with me for a little while. 
and don't stop talking. Uh, just pretend that I'm asleep. Don't let them see that I'm... He died right there in front of me. And I stood there for nearly half an hour, holding his hand and begging him to come back. And he did. It was true! Hello, little Vic. You're so lucky! I'm not so sure. I'll die again in a few weeks, but I might not be as lucky as I was today. It might take me a lot longer to come back. They'll certify my death. They'll bury me. I'll die and come back. Die and come back. Die and come back inside my grave until there's no room left in the cemetery. Then they'll empty the graves, burn the remains, and I'll die and come back again, and I'll drag myself until someone finds me and takes me to a public nursing home. But I won't find you there. You'll have died of old age. Luckily, that didn't happen. It took me 40 years. But I found you at last. And together we found your beloved Vulcan, the Treaty, and also, surprise, we even found a judgment coin. The time has come. I ask you, for all the hate you feel towards me, Please, read the treaty in search of the potion that reverts immortality. Please, kill me. You don't deserve the compassion you seek. You've destroyed too many lives. It's far more than you ever showed for Fergus, or Alonzo, or me, and so many others. And yet you had compassion for yourself. You weren't capable of ending your own life. That's how you wanted it, and that's how it shall be. Vulcan, please. Listen, don't waste any more of my time. None of that shit is going to happen. We're going to mix up a new transmutation potion. But I'm the one who's going to do the drinking. I'm not going to do that. You will, because if you don't, I'll kill you. And we all know what happens when you die, right? It might take me some time. But you'll do it. Miss Baxter, the madman is nowhere to be found. But I did find this. Pauline! Oh! Forget the madman. Here's an even better offer. Wouldn't you just love an immortal girlfriend? I'll come back, John. It takes Rines a while to come back. What about her? I'm... I'm alive! And you don't know how happy that makes me. Amanda, keep an eye on them. I promise that when we find another coin, you'll be... Shit. Shit. 